My food supplies are going down, though. Did they finish the other research? I do have people that are dedicating themselves to research right now, which is probably taking a little bit of manpower time, so that, we should take that into account. There's probably a couple people running around delivering stuff and doing all that mess. Uh, but are, we are gonna have a power problem down here, though. Like, this is seriously gonna, like, turn into an issue. Um, and we have 2,000... Oh, I see what I did. Okay, so yeah, I have a, a beautiful petroleum generator sitting here doing work, but unfortunately it's also connected to, uh, um, I mean, it's connected to just bare wire, so this is gonna start blowing up if things start turning on. You might have to... We have to disconnect from the top, so it's really just powering everything down here. There's not a ton of stuff, but there are things that don't necessarily need to get powered, uh, at the same time. Ah, well, there's 1200 watts for this guy, so that's gonna be... And then this thing's running. Constantly. What is this thing set up for? A thousand? Let's just see if we start running into issues with things getting, um, with things starting to pop. If things start to pop, then, you know, then we'll address it. But I think, I think right now we're probably fine. The... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if we can run this thing at a potential load of 3250 when our max is 2000 and not burst at the seams, then I'm good with that. But the thing is, the carbon skimmer and the water sieve are going to be running non-stop, so that's going to be consistent power going through, but you can see it right now, it's chilling at 960. Is there way? Uh, okay, let's Scorpion's Revenge animation movies out? Mm, no, actually. Can't really pull up on stream watching now, though. <laughs> let's see. Not exactly, you know, friendly. Get that belt. Let's not do. Okay, let's not. It's okay, that's not what I wanted to do there. Actually, there looks like there's a. Oh, I see what I want. That's right. So I did want to do this and then run this pipe up and then reattach that up over here like this. And then we'll cut this. <laughs> he sings the the God's Shin Godzilla uh, theme song. Okay. What a mess. What a mess. But it's gonna work though. Replace all the wires. Dude, I know! Replace wires, replace everything. But this is good. I mean, we're making more plastic for the where we need plastic, which I, we have tubes all over the place, which is a huge mess, but we should probably replace all the ladders everywhere with plastic ladders, honestly. Um, let me, let's do it, but let's set it like a low priority. Let's do like a four or something. And just do all the ladders. There's no reason for them to use regular ladders right now. Even on little things like this. We have them. Yeah, we have the means to. And we're just cranking out more, so. I mean, this over here, God, is kind of a mess. We really, we really want to do it. Let's just do, like, part of it. <laughs> we should put on all of them. But let's not do all of them, I guess. Does this go all the way up? It does go all the way up. Hey. With the right-hand side. What up, Nestorados? So that side's done, good. This side's good, this is good. There's a huge ladder right here that could be replaced with plastic. We're gonna redo all this piping too. Might as well go all the way up. And then, they don't have to go in here for anything, so that's fine. This should replace that. They don't go over here for anything either. Um, They don't go over here for anything. We're gonna have to start doing some like, let's follow them for a day type thing. Just to see, you know, where they're going, what they're doing. <laughs> Excuse me, but this ladder they're actually using quite a bit. So absolutely this one, at least down to here. This plastic right right there. Just pick it up off the ground and just start <laughs> plugging it in. Get awfully close to that lava though. This thing's full of oil. Alright on research. Uh getting there. Okay, we don't need this door here anymore. Let's go deconstruct that door. Is there anything running this door? No, there's not. Not much animation? No, there's not. Wow, we have very little automation everywhere because this is before the automation update. Was there faster moving tiles? Uh, plastic will do it. Yeah. Plastic's also an insulator too, so you gotta be careful where we put it. Um, it allows for basically like, I think like zero heat transfer, I think. <clears throat> or very little, at least. So yeah, we'll have to be careful where we end up putting plastic uh, in terms of you know, just trying to make them walk faster, you know? Um, 
But that would be nice though. I think we will get to that point where there's plastic everywhere, especially like this. Like we could put plastic here on the rooms. We don't need insulated. Like there's so many things. Maybe we don't ins need insulated. We don't need all oh, this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, so many things. Blossom seeds. Sure, we're gonna make a huge farm soon. Actually, I wonder if uh, if I have my blueprints. If my blueprint has my farm set up. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Use blueprints. Arrow keys. That's rooms. Uh, I, it has my shipping area, which is or my uh, uh, ah, here it is. That is that the whole thing? It looks like it. Yeah, maybe. Cool. We'll does another time. Uh, I think my setup for a sip filtration system is going to be more complicated than I first thought. Also, metal tiles, but allows that allows for massive amounts of heat. Yeah, that's massive amount of heat transfer. But they're really great for that. <laughs> they're really great for that. If you want to transfer heat, boy, they're great. Okay, cool. So we have water going through. The skimmer is going to do its job. It's going to clean up all this. It's going to be nice and all this beautiful oxygen down here up above this point, not below this point. And uh, we should be good. Actually, as the room decompresses a little bit, it'll start to spread because we're, we're, we're sucking up all of this natural gas and... Oh, you know what, though? Look at this. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Right now, this is cycling in on itself. We have a vent that is... Because before, it was taking gas out of this room and putting it right outside the door. But now, we need to move this exit here. Probably down here by the... Um, uh, right by the the thing, and that way it could just get absorbed by that, and that will allow. Because right now it's not gonna, it's not pulling any uh, natural gas; it's just cycling the same uh, gas over and over again. So yeah, it's just basically just black. So let's go ahead and r run that pipe, that duct, and we'll run that down to here, which is uh, it's plenty, plenty of space for it to to do its thing. Uh. We either redo all of this, or we <laughs> just undo this and then put a put a uh, a bridge. That'll be what we do. Break that now. Ventilation bridge, gas bridge. Let's get it ready. Get it ready. There we go. So that'll get all that nasty, nasty carbon dioxide down there by the carbon skimmer. The carbon skimmer will do some work, and that'll clear all that stuff up. So. We just gotta wait for it to get done, and we'll do that, uh, that, let's redo our, our binds, actually. So, let's see, this is a, pretty much a whole base, right here. Good. And then, do you think it'd be fun if the near, uh, if the near the surface went through seasons while moving through space? I feel like that'd be a tough thing to sell. Seasons? But you're right, I mean, if it's facing the sun or not facing the sun, it's either gonna be ice cold or crazy hot so it would be kind of nice if there was like a cold season of sort yeah hot to cold yeah you're right yeah i guess that would make sense it'll be like it'll be a whole lot like uh um chronicles of riddick fieria i think is the name of the uh, it was a fieria fear for can't remember the name of the planet but basically it's just like it's got like three suns or something like that and they all like rise at, this, rise at the same time and the entire planet like is engulfed in flames it's crazy if you haven't seen Chronicles of Riddick, you're missing out, man. Awesome sci-fi. Adventure. Action. It's got Riddick, man. Vin Diesel. Um, God, their food sucks, but they're making it, so that's all that matters. Temperature over there is fine. Yes, it is. We managed to get the temperature down here over here, like, really, really nice. Like, just nice and cool. Uh, as, as long as we're still maintaining temperature here, 36.4, negative 36.4, which is a little bit lower than what was before, it's negative 32 or something, so that's good. <sighs> you can't... <laughs> oh, what was that? I'm gonna, kill, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill you with this teacup. God, man, it's so good. I fucking love that movie. I thought it was way better than Pitch Black. I like Pitch Black, it was a good introductory to the uh, character, but definitely feel like it was, uh... It was great, kind of further developed. And also, it's Keith David in it. Come on. Keith David. The best. Who's Keith David? Commander Anderson. From Mass Effect. Ring any bells? So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just setting up all my all my digits here. Wait, what are they going over here? What are you doing? What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Why is he picking up Sleet Wheat Grain? Is he storing it? Oh, he's storing... Oh, wait. No, hold on. Let's follow this guy. 
Martha, what you up to? Oh, okay, cool. Although, following you did actually show us that y people are using the, uh... I mean, I'll go ahead and queue up some ladders here, but... Like, honestly, I have a feeling we're gonna redo this entire area down here, so... I'm not terribly concerned about... ladders down here. Which, they haven't actually built any of the ladders I told them to build. Oh, they did, yeah, they got like, like seven of them down here, look at that! Oh, they did some right here, too! Well, I mean, I guess it is accessible, so I suppose that makes sense. Let me see. What is the priority of these guys? Fours! Ah ha ha! Jokes! Raise that back up. What was that? Thoughts on Riddick? Well, I just told you! Just told you! I just told you, my heart, man! It's the best! It's the best! The games are good, too! Escape from Butcher Bay? Come on, man! And the other one? <laughs> yeah, so once this is built, then we'll start taking some of this uh, nasty, nasty. Uh, you know what? I didn't see. I, I didn't see the. the oh, I, I did see the the uh, the third movie, the sequel to Chronicles of Riddick, uh, and it was not that good. It's it's it was upsetting, but it was basically Pitch Black too, which I didn't really. I mean, I, Pitch Black was the. Uh, it seemed to me like the this they the studio wanted to get another Chronicles of Riddick installment out, but they they wanted to use the budget of Pitch Black. You know, like, Pitch Black, Pitch Black was low budget. Uh, whereas Chronicles of Riddick is, like, like, crazy. Like, way higher budget than Pitch Black. And I think they were like, yeah, you know, people want more Riddick, let's give them another Pitch Black. And that was like, mm, okay. It was still fun. Yeah, it was still fun, but it was just like, I wanted to see more exploration into the worlds, uh, the worlds. Um, like, you know, the Furian thing. The whole Furian angle with, with, uh, with Riddick and being the last... Well, he wasn't the last Furian, as we found out. Um, like, that whole thing was, uh, was cool. I wanted to expand on that. But you know... Uh, is that the one that got on that desert planet? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like a desert planet. Where it's like, uh, the sun comes up and just kind of... <sighs> to, like, run away from the, the sun, basically. Because it's like a thousand degrees. I guess we don't necessarily need these guys either. Let's kill that. So once these are built, it's going to speed things up. So now we have oxygen that's being generated, which is fine. More just wanted to relieve some of the carbon dioxide. Excuse me. Um, and then we're making more room for more more natural gas. I'd like to get all this natural gas out of here and into the uh, into the pipes. I mean, we already see that we're basically full, so that's not gonna <laughs> work. <laughs> uh, what we could do actually is bypass this side because we have natural gas coming from over here. We could do it the right way, or we could just do it. I think we just do it. Let the let the let the base run off of uh, off of the bottom, and then like the, all of the natural gas we have stored down here just to kind of clear this up a little bit. And then we'll go back and create a proper bypass somehow. But right now, like, I think this is dormant. I think the other one's dormant too. Uh, this one's actually erupting. We'll let this, we'll let this room basically fill up. What is this? Uh, if it's above, let's do 2,000. That way that's not even gonna turn on for a while. This thing's just off, which is fine. It's probably all hydrogen up there anyways. Yep. <laughs> it sure is. Just full of hydrogen up there. Awesome. <clears throat> Riddick was a good rogue. Yeah, for reals. Oh, they, and now they sleep. We have a couple of plastic right down here. So our food supplies are very, very slowly but steadily going down. Um, I wonder if we just don't have somebody who's a dedicated cook. We have natural gas going. We don't have a natural gas going to this. We're not making anything fancy. But at the same time, we don't have the materials to make anything fancy. They're getting sleet wheat grain from the cold biome over here. But it's not... I mean, do there is, oh, there is some sleet wheat that's growing. Oh, this is growing wild. Oh, you know what, then? We don't necessarily have to make a farm if it's just going to grow wild. We could probably get our hands on some pips and take them over there and see if we can't get the pips to run around and, and drop some more. Boom, but I don't think we necessarily have to worry about that right now. What up, Alby? Can I get, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for three months. Appreciate that. Uh, make a movie on low budget, just kill. The set decor budget and make it in the night. We'll call it pitch black. Yeah. 
Um, let me see. So, um, I'm gonna pick up So basically, everything is queued up so they can make everything. They just don't have the resources to make everything. I guess if I put some gas in here, we can actually go ahead and have them make what probably. Oh, we need pitcher pepper nuts. We can't make that. Frost burger. Uh, frost bun lettuce. Okay, so this is stuff we don't have. Uh, stuffed berry, mushroom wrap. Yeah. Yeah. So we would need a uh, pinch of pepper nuts, the most reasonable right now. In terms of getting. But wait, what, do we have any pinch of pepper nuts that's kind of wildly growing somewhere that we could just run in and just steal? We have some right here. It's not really. Yeah, there's a whole lot of angry in there. We have the water weed too. Man. Water weed, water weed. There's a bunch of water weed down here that's just naturally growing. I wonder if we can't just put a door right here and just let these guys go down here and just collect. Hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I want an assortment. I want this colony to have everything. Poke shell spawn. Just take it and kill it. Make some meat. No, not that one. No. There you go. Just the one guy. He's so cute though. <laughs> Zap. While well, it doesn't mean it grows hella slow. Yeah, it's true. But if you have a whole bunch, then no maintenance, nothing to do with it, you don't have to do anything with it, then you 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 make up for it uh that way. Alright, so let's check priorities. So nine, uh nine. So these are nine. So we basically we have an issue with somebody who's not prioritizing making food. Let's see, farming, ranching, building, digging, supplying, researching, cooking. So we have boots, our cook. Boots is our only cook. That explains so much. <laughs> That is why he is not capable of doing everything on his own. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually give somebody else the duties here. Let's see who can. Lindsay's got cuisine skill of three. Is that the, really my second highest? Sorry, Boots. <laughs> it was fine until we, you know we got like ten people, I guess. Um, two. Maybe devils a three. Well, what's Navy Dell word? De decorating, farming. Oh, you know what? Decorating and farming? Mm, is he the only farmer, though? He is one of two farmers. So is Lindsay. Okay, if I make both of them, put a little bit of priority on. Let me see. Let's take off tidying. Take off researching. Because I think we already have somebody else as a researcher. Oh, Lindsay is our researcher then. Well, well she's not researching, then we don't have to worry about that. So we'll go ahead and put. Oops. Research up. And then we'll go ahead and put cooking. Put that up one, and then so if they're not farming, not doing that, and then also they say they're Navy Devil. Navy Devil's got ranching and farming. We don't have anything to ranch right now, so that's not a problem. Cool. So that should probably help. Just those two should probably help a little bit with getting uh, uh, getting some food built built up because we're not really like falling that far behind, but it's very slowly reducing in kilocalories in terms of our, our reserves. Bristle blossoms, for example, grows in 24 cycles wild and six cycles domestic. Plus, farmer's touch increases it more. That's right. Yeah, we're gonna get up. We're gonna get all those farms. I, ideally, I would like to get all the farms going. And I was actually thinking the best place to put it, uh, to put some of these farms, is down here. There's a huge chunk here. Oh wait, actually, maybe no. Um, we could put them anywhere. Maybe we'll actually expand all of our electrical down here and utilize some of the natural. I mean, there's a, there's a geyser here, but I'm not going to mess with the saltwater geyser right now. I might just uh, block that thing off and then, I don't know, do something with the rest of the saltwater. I have no idea what. But there's water weeds and all kinds of stuff down here. Hmm. You will have to figure out what we could do with this. Hmm, 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 hmm. But look, it's getting a little thinner down here. It's kind of nice. It's, uh, gas is building up right here, so we're experiencing a little bit of issue here, which means this is blocked. This is blocked Why? Because going through here, is this thing full? Uh, <laughs> what up, kid? Ah, what are you doing? Hey, but Keep it chill. Oh, I need to build it. Ah, that's why this thing's not doing anything. You bruh. Alright, so that's not... I know, that that's not running because it was overflowing. That's right, because we weren't necessarily making enough to... Bah, 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 bah. Bruh. Swoosh. No ranch, is that the next... I don't know if I'll do ranches in this build, because I don't really see a benefit for ranches here yet um if i do build a ranch i want to build around a farm i gotta figure out where to put that farm 
We almost done. Let's see multiplexing. That's gonna be that's pretty advanced. Um are we do we do everything? Except for the multiplexing? It looks like it. Cool. So we can take this thing down in a second. Good. Good, good, good. Keeping on kill calories, boy. I'm eating some mush bars if we're not careful. How is my natural gas? Why are we not using Oh, what the heck? What is that? How did that happen? Oh, we have all kinds of stuff in here. Why did how does that? Oh, oh, it's getting by because this is locked up. So we need to actually swap this out for a um for a plastic one, for a high density one. High output. That gas is gonna break the machines, but we'll just repair it. It's fine. But we'll we'll solve the issue now. I'm glad we noticed it so quickly. So we'll get this thing dismantled and then we'll put this on there because it's because it's getting backed up and there's no reason we're cycling so many so much gas in on itself uh, right here that there's no reason to um, to not just have a high pressure vent here. We're robbing from Peter to pay Paul, but then we're paying back Peter with Paul. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like it's it's, it's a cycle. So <laughs> I, an analogy. There we go. So now that's gonna go through. As long as that's flowing, we're not gonna have any kind of build up here. So yeah, I'm not gonna build another filter. I'm just gonna let this do damage and then just deal with it later. Is it going through another filter up here? Nah, that'd be too convenient. Why is the skimmer working? Because it was backed up. It's working now though. It's work. It's it's well, it's backed up because this thing, which is not open yet, uh, but this thing basically takes the water out of the line, and that frees up the sieve, which then frees up the carbon skimmer. So it's a, it's a chain of events here. So there it goes. This is working now. It's gonna start sucking up some of that, some of that uh, hydrogen or some of that. Uh, uh, I mean, technically, you know, it's hydrogen, oxygen, uh, some of that water, and then this is gonna start working again. So there you go. See. Robin Peter to pay Paul, but then Paul just pays off Peter. Yeah, see? Meanwhile, we're just gonna keep on cranking out plastic. It's beautiful. As long as they continue to stay on top of, of uh, releasing the pressure from this, and we continue to convert all of this crude oil into petroleum, that's the only way we're going to keep this cycle alive and keep it working. And then, I guess so long as we continue using natural gas, we should be good. Like, we have power coming from over here, which is basically powering everything on this side. We're not really using natural gas generators as often as I thought we would, and I wonder why that is. I mean, I don't give, I don't give, I'll run the whole base off of petroleum generators. I don't give a damn about that. You can put a scammer sieve on a closed loop. I can also just leave it like this. <laughs> well, we move on to other things that we have to work on. Uh, so collect natural gas, done. Swap tile for airflow, done. Move gas pump. I didn't have to move the gas pump. So good. Make more steel. We're working on that. We need... There's a bunch of molts in here. Look at this. All of this poker shell molts. This will all convert nicely into... Um, uh, into into uh, lime. Well, we have fossil, actually. That's That's supposed to be getting converted fossil 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 that path passed already fossil to line oh you run out of fossil oh hey so i guess we did make all of the what was the other thing we were... I, I guess we did Wait, what let me see go on see go on. what else do we have in here go eggshell lime fossil to lime poker shell molts to lime ah so it looks like we did exhaust all of our lime outputs our lime uh, things so we could just go down here i guess and we gotta go find some uh, I go and find some more fossil somewhere, which I feel like would be more of a pain in the butt. Or we just go down here and just steal all this poker shell molds because there's a ton of them just chilling here. I I saw that foul actually. How does that work? Is that is it? It's just a mouse over, like a little note, like a sticky note. It's here again. Oh, no problem, Victor. No problem. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of like a million miles an hour. Uh, but yeah, is it just a? Is it just a simple thing? Is that water we have planted it is and it's growing? Mm. A ton of fossils in the oil biome. Okay, let me go ahead and kill this here. I'm gonna put a ladder to go down. These guys won't be able to jump all the way up and out, I don't think. Okay, sure. And then I'll have them go and collect all those poker shell molts. And I do want to eventually get all of this whole thing gutted and just seal this thing off. 
and then use this for... I mean, yeah, that Bissolite is just delicious. So yeah, I kind of want to use this for power. Can I just, like, just cover it right here? Just, like, put a little box around it and then just never mess with it? Saltwater fish tank. You build it, build it and gain the type that you want and hover over it. Oh, man, that's a good one. Man. Let's see these guys get done. Let's speed things up. I'm fairly certain that these things can't jump three three tiles high, so we should be safe to get in there and do some work. Good. Now they'll go up and they'll actually we'll go ahead and tell them to Yeah, they're already picking some up, so it's good. Can you get in there and get those? Yes. As long as there's no no babies or eggs in there, we should be okay. Go down there and collect. They got, they have a, they actually got the plastic lighters going pretty much everywhere now, which is nice. This system's working great, good. As long as we don't have oil that kind of pours over the top, we should be okay. Make petroleum, make petroleum, make petroleum, good. Actually, we're going to raise this up a little bit. And then, see, what do we get? What was that? What was that? Printables. Printables, we got muck root. Good. We need food, I think. Tell them large march. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Are we? Mm, we're maintaining. I'm just trying to think. Are we? Are we doing good here in liquid? It looks like I think we are. Let's see. Cool steam vent dormant, and then this is dormant as well. When does this come back up? Uh, Thirty-nine cycles, and this comes up in nine cycles. Okay, good. So we're gonna have plenty coming out. But we have a ton of hydrogen here, actually. Maybe we should take this opportunity to go in here and steal up all this hydrogen before these things come back online, because there's a lot of hydrogen that's just chilling in here. Um, I mean, like, look. I mean, like, just looking at the density here. Uh, let's see, 3,000, 3,000, over 3,000, over 3,000. So all this, 33, I would say on average, it's probably 3,500 per tile. Yeah, it's like 3,500 per tile. We could probably, I was thinking of coming in from the top, but I don't want to break through this abyssalite. It's such a great insulator. Um, but maybe we can just throw a pump in there real quick, snatch that up, and si I just si we just siphon it in here. Just drop it in here for now, and then we could, at least out of this space. 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it's not like, <laughs> you're right, it's not. <laughs> but we could, we could actually, we could throw it in here and it won't do any harm. This is actually getting warmer here. Hmm. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, you know what? One thing that I didn't do for these that I've done in my other little, like, you know, spawn, not spawn generators here is use ice as a backing plate. Huh. If I pump that hot ass hydrogen in here, I could. How much ice do we have? Do we have ice just sitting around? Is he liquefiable? Let me, uh, see, don't need seed. Liquefiable. We have 10 tons of ice. If we pump all of this hot ass hydrogen in here, and then we go and build a whole bunch of temp shift plates that are made out of ice throughout this, we will instantly cool, like, well, over, over the course of a couple cycles, uh, all of the hydrogens in this room, and, and, uh, we'll be able to open it up and put ice inside of here, which will make these rooms more resilient to pumping hot ass air through it, which means right now we're just pumping hot air and like this one's already just having issues, right? It's already starting to warm up a little bit. I mean, what's what's uh, what's coming through it? Yeah, it's not even that much coming through it. Um, so it'll give it more of a fighting chance. So we can also go through and pump liquid through here if we wanted to. So we should probably start then with a insulated door. We'll put an insulated door here and that will be where we start. So insulated door, that's the reason why we got it, so we could uh, insulate things. Oh, cool. Thanks, Val. Yeah, I saw that and I was, uh, I, think I totally forgot to even pick it up. We don't necessarily need that to be emergency, but I kind of like it sometimes. Uh, hey, look at that. They got the job done so fast. So we'll put a pump up here. We'll just put it like right at the top where we can squeeze it in. And we're just going to take all of the hydrogen. We'll put like a quick filter and just take the hydrogen, dump it out. What do we have power at, actually? See, this power, it, this power has got room, or this power got room. This uh, cable's got, uh, this power line's got space for it. Let me see. Mm, it looks like 
can't really get all the way across, so we'll just build a little tiny bridge right there. Man. <laughs> whoop, whoop, everything. Let's go ahead and change that real quick. We'll let that ladder get built immediately, bro. And then we'll bring this power over. Bring it up. And then over here. And then up. I think it's uh this side. And then we'll take the ventilation. Gas pump. Good. Yeah, steel. Let's not do steel. <laughs> That's, uh, steel silly. Stop that. Gas pump. Okay, they finished something. We'll check that out in a second. Iron ore is fine. It's not gonna melt. It's not gonna melt. Steam. It's not gonna melt. Um. Then we're gonna get some gas. So we're gonna bring this down. We can add some cheap shit. Granite. It gets rock. Sandstone. Bring this down. And then we'll run it through a filter. Right here, I'm guessing. And then we'll just have it come over here and just dump it. Just dump it. Don't care about pressure or anything. So we'll put the filter in now before they build all this stuff up. And then... Kind of messed up some of that, but it's fine. We'll get it corrected here. So we want hydrogen to go out. Everything else can go out here. Close that. And that's going to be... Give it a second. I swear to God, Inferno and Buffy are always causing problems in your games. <laughs> There's always a couple that... Uh, it's kind of like... You know, when you're in school and your once your teacher like learns your name, like you feel like your name comes up all the time or something. You know, it's like once they learn your name, it's kind of like every time you get in trouble, it's kind of like oh, it's always, it's always you know. So not to say your teacher, but like other teachers when they learn your name, and then it's kind of like oh, why 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 am I always calling your name, Mike? It's like I don't know, picking on me. I'm gonna get this and cut here, and then cut. Here, that way there's no bypass there. Is that actually gonna work? Looks like it. Good. Look at him go, look at him go. Starvation, huh? Oh, he's got a poop. That's all it is, right? <laughs> Some things never change, man. Some things. How are we doing up here? Let's go, let's go. They can reach this whole thing, right? They can reach all the way up. Yes, they can. Go, 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 go! Damn it! Is he gonna eat though? Hold on a second. Killing demon. He's... What is he doing? <laughs> He's not gonna starve though. He's gonna eat in a second. Hold on. That's a pinch of pepper nut, looks like. So I make sure he's actually gonna go eat. Oh, he just straight up ate. <gasps> no! Don't eat that! What was that? Lettuce? Don't eat that. Don't eat. Don't eat things that we need to cook. Don't eat the meat. Don't eat this. He just straight took a. It wasn't a pinch of pepper nut. What was that? I think it was lettuce, actually. He just ate. We need that to cook with, man. Chump. You like his blue? I know, he's so happy. Starving, but happy. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> what is this? We're just waiting for this thing to get finished. What's going on, guys? These are the nine. See, this is, this is why I said we should probably go through and uh, reset all of our priorities and all that, but... We'll get to that later. Right now, we just gonna, we're focused on getting shit done. That's our job right now, getting shit done. Oh, there's no power. <laughs> oh my god, there's no power to everything! Why is there no power? Because we siphon all of the gas out. Why is it not coming through here, though? There's lots of gas chilling in there. Ah, because the filter. Why isn't the filter spewing it out there? Because it's closed. Why is that closed? Because there's an automation line going through it. Why is an automation line going through it? Because I did not notice when I built that thing two months ago. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and we'll just build a bridge right there, and then we'll go and just snip, snip. And then we'll go on X, and then let's go priority on that. <laughs> just get it done. <sighs> 
That will fix the power issue immediately. See? <laughs> so I guess I do have a filter up here, but it's not going to filter out. Uh, oh, actually, no, we'll filter out everything. So good. So I guess we don't have to necessarily worry about. I guess I could technically remove the filter here, but I feel like that, that'd be, no, no, let's not do that. This is a very cheap filter. Also, by the way, look at the, uh, look at our power lines overloading. Oops. And, uh, we're overheating. Oh, why are we overheating? It's because we are pumping in hot air here or we don't have enough gas to just to kind of absorb it. Well, it's made out of gold, I guess. Wow, it's actually taking a lot of damage. We just happen to be looking at it right at the right time. We're gonna, uh, wow, for the first time in, a, in, in probably 700 cycles or so, we're gonna take that thing apart that was running just beautifully. And we're gonna replace it with a one made out of steel. Man, that thing was doing work, man. It was a workhorse. He will be missed. If only there was uh, still one puddle of water under it. I know it wasn't quite big enough puddle, I guess. Let me see. Put this guy here. Steel. Of course, now we have power issues because we're not overloading. But I think what we should do is we should hmm. We should automate something real quick because right now there's there's no reason to have these machines running when there's basically no gases down here. This is a huge waste. Um, yeah, just a huge waste. So let's go and get some automation going. Let's go and slow things down a little bit. So let's do an atmospheric sensor, and then all we'll do is tell turn these two guys off whenever. Uh... Ooh, but if we do that, then we're gonna have to have a bypass for the water. Oh man, this problem is gonna add up. Let's say this went over. Mm, let's see, send a green signal when it's above two thousand. Oops, two thousand. There we go. It took so many cycles for it to take its first bit of overheat. Yeah, exactly. It's only because we cleaned up the air down here. There's just no nothing for it to. Um... Oh yeah, we're getting damage all over the place. Wire damage. Oof, oof, man. But it's cool, we shut it down, so that's going to stop the, the damage there, at least. Uh, but yeah, wow, it ran for so long with no issues whatsoever. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty kind of, like, retire things and just, I don't know, keep them around. <laughs> Remember that polymer press? <laughs> you know how they do with, like, old boats and shit, you know? They keep them, like, like, tourist attractions or something? It should be something like that for this game. I uh, see, so buildings. Let's go and get rid of these. Don't need them anymore. We got everything researched. We're good. No more people dedicating time to that, which means food should start to go up a little bit, hopefully. What was the other thing we were working on? Sorry, we were dumping all the... Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, they made out of aluminum! Come on, man! Oh, the iron ore didn't last at all, though. Okay. Uh -huh. So, I guess we're gonna make it out of steel. We didn't even get a chance to use it yet, and already... Damn it. Let me see. Gas pump. Steel. This is why, this is why the first thing, the first order of business that we got in today was make steel. Because steel just, it's just cheating. It's basically cheating. Basically cheating. Put whatever you want, wherever you want. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Iron ore steel. I know, I know. I, I, I seriously did not think that steam was going to melt iron. I just, it's just not something that, it didn't really compute, but. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't know shit about iron, I guess. <laughs> I guess I don't know anything. Ah, okay, but you're gonna do, you're gonna do hydrogen though. As soon as I get my control, as soon as I get it back, as soon as I get it back, as soon as I get it back. Hydrogen. And this guy. Okay, so that'll fix all that. And then over here, maybe we should do is actually start getting ready for it by moving some ice into this room. Uh, probably gonna need like two trays worth, I think, of ice. We'll make it out of something. I wish it would stop defaulting to fucking mafic rock. Pardon my French. But seriously, it's it's annoying that it keeps on going back to mafic rock. Mavic, 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 whatever. Gold, yes, please. Which, by the way, the door is locked. Where are they getting it from? What was that? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole area is just done. You don't want to store your ice in 300 degree containers? I know, like, thank you, thank you. Thank you, exactly, exactly, jeez. Uh, look at fireball, so where's the ice? Nine, copy settings, boom. And before we let it go, let's go see where the other ice is, because we have a lot of ice, but where's it stored? Ah, well there's some. How many tons are in here? Oh, ten tons, okay, cool. It's all right here. And this is, uh, we'll make that an eight, and so they'll start moving things over. We do have some issues over here with, uh, things breaking, lots of things breaking over here, why? We kind of ignored this whole thing because we were just kind of feeding it hydrogen, letting it just cool itself and go through this whole cycle as if we were going to save this biome. Um, I don't know why we started doing it. I think it was just kind of a side project, literally on the side of the base, but now it's starting to cost us resources. So I don't know if we necessarily want to do all that, but we'll... <sighs> we'll address it later. <laughs> nah. Let me see. There's power here. That should be a power door. Thankfully, they have a very quick path to get back and forth to get that stuff delivered and put over there. So this will get that. Yeah, this is going to be a quick job here. So this is already starting to pour in right now. Nice and hot. <laughs> this is going to be quite the job to get this thing, uh, to get this area. Cool. But as long as we have the ice on hand, it shouldn't take, you know, it shouldn't take too long. But we got to wait for this to get full. Maybe we should go grind up some more. More problems of future, Mike. Oh, man, we got this. Now me's got this. What's up here? Oh, there's another ice biome up here. Look at that. Look at that. A wheeze wart and everything. How many wheeze warts do we have like on reserve? I don't think we have any. Oh. None. Okay. Lots of other seeds for other things, but no. Hmm. Let's keep that manufactured material up. Super ore, you close that for now. Look at five, we'll close that. Okay. So I guess if we need to go back and get ourselves some, uh, oh, some mafic rock right here. That's not a million degrees. Huh. You can review past Mike's video logs and see his thoughts on the, on the uh, failing ice biome. I, I don't know if I trust that guy. <laughs> I, I've, I've had plenty of life experiences since then. I don't think, uh, uh, I don't think he's, yeah, I don't know. What's going on here? What? Are, how are we cleaning this? Like, this thing is just spewing gas everywhere. Did we actually set up anything to clean this up? Or have we just been letting it happen? <gasps> it's nine? Oh my god! Um, surprised that thing's running at all. This is a carbon dioxide explosion. Waiting to happen. You know what we could do? Oof, man. There's a lot of oxygen. There's not a lot of hydrogen, like in the grand scheme here, right? Um, I wonder if we have a door there, block this, we have a water lock there, we have a lock there. This is not. Can't we? Yeah, we could actually block this off. They can't even get down there from here. Yeah, there's no way even to get use this area. So let us do this. Let's go and kill this. And we'll replace it with a... Oh, hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. Let's see, uh, transit tube. Oh, that's not gonna work there because it needs to have a, um, a gap before it turns. So we'll put it up here then instead. Okay, we'll remove all this stuff up and we'll just put regular tile here, here, and here. That's exactly where I'm going, Victor. Exactly. Oh god, watch out! It's head around for us! I think I work on this stuff? What are we working on here? But yeah, we'll put a, um... We'll put a bridge there. We're gonna seal this off. We're gonna open these doors. We're just gonna eject all this shit out the door. You see how fast that battery filled up? Holy crap. Can they actually reach? They can reach all this, right? Yeah, they can. Okay. Mavic rock again! <laughs> I'm just, There's a mod. There's actually a mod that has preference or something it's like what, what your preferred build item is uh yeah we should probably do that sometime good thank you because i'm sick of having to change that just sick but yeah we're gonna go we're gonna take it to space open that guy up might as well open this guy up 
And that'll help uh, free up some pressure here. I just don't want an accident to happen and then have all this stuff just go shooting off into the base or something. Going back to have I'm making an asteroid try to move. Get that going. Nine on the doors. Good, 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 good. Sealed. And then this is sealed up here. Did he just clean that? Wish they wouldn't do that. What up, Hohan? It's gonna take a while for it to all go out, but I'll be maybe I'm maybe I'm lying actually. This is pushing out fast. We'll see. But it's sealed right now, so except for this. Oh god, it's math and Parker. Damn! Not a lot. What you playing? Building lags reason unpermitted food. So somebody's hungry, but they can't get the food. Killing demon. What is wrong, killing demon? Why can't you go and eat certain food? Uh, he can. I mean, he can eat everything. Oh, okay. I see this. There you go. We have some pitcher pepper up there. I want them to finish this. There. So now all that's going to be ejected out. This will eventually be a vacuum in like hundreds of cycles. It takes forever to vacuum out. It's not all like the movies. Just pop, just pop a cork and <laughs> sucks everybody out. Not at all like that. 